uh, here we got the brake drum of the trailer. It uh, doesn't look very good. And here is one of the bearings. Don't know if the scoring is visible, but <laughs> the same here. It's, it's pretty. I think it was standing and rusty, and this went really hot. Okay, so let's get that on the light and uh, indicate it. We'll indicate on that uh, surface here because <coughs> if you indicate a drum or um, a disc, always indicate on the rotating part because indicating on, on that surface is pointless because that's not round anymore, I think. So that's where the bearing sits, and if that's concentric, we just machine the drum to whatever is required. So we got it pretty well dialed in. It's uh, probably well, it's less than a hundredth of a millimeter. It's, it's what the spindle does. And we are straight across the bearing surface here. So we can assume the thing runs through. What we're going to try is now, so we, we know it runs through on the bearing. What we're going to check is how much runout do we have. Yeah, we got some, where well the rust is here, it's pretty high. We got in what's yeah. we got a lot of wear in this area here. Yeah? Uh, that seems to be fairly smooth. The runout is surprisingly low. Uh, make that half a tenth of a millimeter or so, maybe a tenth. It's hard to say because the, there's so much rust in it. All right. Let's find a suitable piece of tool steel and uh, we're gonna make that nice and shiny again. So we found a piece of carbide tipped internal boring barbary in back gear. Let's see what we get. Probably well, go a bit faster. Yeah. That's that rusty ridge here. So. I put a towel underneath because the first is cast iron, second the rust is not very very nice to the ways actually. So we need to get rid of that rusty corner here because I think we didn't go wet one step faster. can see the it's pretty uneven wear so obviously we don't want to take too much off but uh, we need to make it a little bit smoother all right I need to take the camera away because I need to have a look there inside we'll come back when we got a better surface here so we just do a final 
spring pass and uh, it cleared almost up but uh, there's a little bit of the strong but I don't want to take too much off so it's a little better now that's what that's not good for the waves actually all right let's run that and uh, I think that's it I think it's done well we got a few areas here but this is pretty deep so I don't want to take that much off but uh, looks good you don't want a super smooth surface anyway so these light vibration marks they don't really matter all right I'm happy with that next one and here we got the whole drama that's uh, left rear it's badly scored because there was no lining on the brake shoe and uh, I think it was full of water as well this one looks a bit better but it's actually not it's belly shaped this, it's thinner here and thicker here in the middle so and this bearing I think is shot as well because it was rusty watery I don't know this bearing looks good we're gonna replace those um, shaft seals if the bearing is okay we reuse it it's a trailer it's not a precision machinery okay let's get the bearing out and uh, put it on the lathe So the bearing actually looks pretty good. We got the ring out and uh, we got a good surface to indicate. So I'll give that a try. So we got it dialed in fairly well. Make that a hundred or two. I'm happy with that. How much you can do really. Checked it on the bearing surface as well. It's okay. Well, let's touch off and see what we get here. It's that rusty remains here which needs to go. actually because I didn't touch the stop so it should be okay There's a little bit more to go on the inner end It's gonna be boring, but uh, I need to. The rest is not good for the tools. Now we're touching the rust surface. You see it here. Yeah, that's the corner where we touch the rust now. All right, let's get that done and uh, come back. So that's our last pass. <coughs> there might be a, a little ridge left in the in the center, but uh, I'm just doing a spring pass. It's quite a bit of a groove, I just leave it, because otherwise I'm going to take too much material out, which I don't really want. Yeah. 
cutting it away now. It's looking good so far. Alright, wait until this is done and then have a look. So we can see there is a bit of a, a light spot here, but everything else looks good so far. I think we just leave it this way. This, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. We still got material left here. I'm going to do measurement what the thickness is, but. Uh, I think it's okay so far. Just give it a little bit of a chamfer and uh, should be good to go. Alright, that was number two. So we just checked the the remaining thickness and it's it's about 0.4 of an inch so I'm happy with that. Alright. So we have the finished part of number three. That cleared up quite well. Let's finish that off and uh, check how the bearing races look. So we're on the last one, which was the one which didn't have any brake parts in it. Uh, it's very pitted here. I probably run, probably run through with some sandpaper before. The next challenge is that surface is a bit rusty so hard to indicate. I think we indicate on the bearing race because that looks fairly okay. And also someone's beaten that corner with a hammer quite badly so might be a bit of a challenge to get that because that that's the register where we check it up and uh, I clean it as best as I can, but uh, we'll see how it runs. Alright, let's go to the light. So we got it fairly well dialed in. I'm running on a bearing race, the outer surface is really dirty. If you go a bit further in, it's uh, half a hundred of a millimeter, that's fine. So that's on the bearing race because there's nothing else I can indicate on. Alright, let's clean that up a little bit. Well, we tried to clean that stuff up, but it's really tough, so we're going to sacrifice the tool. It's, uh, you can't get it off, it's, it's really hard. Alright, let's give it a try. It's not too bad, it's the we got a we got a typical wear pattern because on the on these drums the outer side is always a bit more worn than the inner one just how the brake is designed um, it looks okay we have a bit more at the bottom where the scoring was but uh, it cleans up quite well i've got plenty to go compared to the other ones i didn't change anything on the settings so i i know roughly where i am i got probably about 0.1-0.2 millimeters to go until I reach the average of the other ones so I'm quite confident that this cleans up well we'll see need to make a spacer for that because they are too big and uh, we pulled the old cable out I wonder how they got it in but these are welded Whereas on the newer ones, it's detachable. Nothing you can do about that. Alright, let's carry on with that. So we set up in the light a piece of uh, one inch round stock. And uh, we make that to 23 outer and 15 and a half inner diameter. And just cut it off on the mansel. So we turn the OD just to inner diameter.
Should be enough for now. Alright. So we done. Nice pile of chips. Let's cut it off. So and that's how it comes together here. It's just got that space and it slides over that. And that's how it looks inside. So that's the diameter reduced because the other cables you can buy they don't fit either. They are too small, so I don't know what that is. We got a solution for it. Make another three of those. Seems to fit.